hi welcome to another tutorial with me my name is Ivan in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to color a black and white photo it's really easy it's a lot easier than you think so let's get started first off I've got my background layer and what I want to do I want to just create a few groups above it you'll understand why in a moment okay so we have her here we have to try and work out how many groups you want to use so we're going to do a hat her hair her face her lips her eyes and her jacket so what we want to do first let's name the first group and name it hat okay so let's go to our selection tool you can press W or just go up to the toolbar over there and you just want to increase the size and make a selection around the hat I'm using my close bracket key to increase the selection and just drag around the hat I'm not going to do it perfectly for this tutorial obviously if you're doing it for yourself or someone else you want to do it properly I'm just going to try and do it as best I can as quick as I can just to show you the point of it okay so once we've selected the hat you want to go to select and mask and it pops up just on the side here so we can smooth it out just a little bit uh, let me zoom in quickly I'm using my control and plus key okay and we want to feather it just a tad just so it blends in a bit better and that's about it I'm going to remember settings because I'm going to be using this for a lot more on the image and press OK so once you have that selected select the hat group and just click on the layer mask just over there all right and now what we want to do we want to go to an adjustment layer and we want to create a solid color and I want to hat to be red so let's click in the red and just darken it down a little bit and hit OK and now what you want to do you want to decrease the opacity nope first sorry we want to change the color mode for coloring images overlay and color seem to work best so they are just on the menu over here firstly I'm going to use color and I'm just going to decrease the opacity quite a bit okay to about about 40 percent and now what I want to do because we made it an adjustment we can go in and change the color just by double clicking on the color itself and you can decrease the color make it darker or lighter or change the color completely right so that's her hat done let's choose her her face now her skin so let's type skin and enter and that's on the separate group and I'm just going to minimize the hat one and we do the same we press W for selection and select her face I'm just going to zoom in a little bit there and selecting there we go and to minus set selection you hold down alt and just drag along just to get rid of that you can use whatever selection tool you you want to use for this tutorial I am just using the quick selection tool it seems to work quickly and that's what we want we want to know how quick we can do this okay so once you've got your selection select and mask again and I've saved my settings and I want to output to a selection and okay so what we want to do now again go to adjustment levels go to solid color and we need to find a skin color a peachy color that looks good and go to your blending mode and either go to color or overlay I'll just show you there overlay looks nice on this one and I'm going to decrease the opacity quite a bit because we don't want it to be too in your face so I've got mine at 38 percent okay so let's close that one and let's go to the next one and do her hair okay with that done we want to select her hair with the selection tool which is W we have that selected continuously anyway so it's not too much worry about that alt to minus your selections and add in some more and add some more as I said I'm not going to be doing it perfectly for this tutorial um, just to speed things up a bit I don't want you getting too bored and I want you to learn okay there we go I'm going to decrease the size with the open bracket key and select there we go I'm not going to select that in her face um, 
just because it'll take a little longer than expected. So I'm just going to make sure I have a proper selection around her, the main part of her hair, really. Okay, I'm going to zoom out, Control and Zero, and we create a mask. And now we go to Solid Color again, and choose a color. I'm going to add a, a slight tinge of yellow to it, just to give it a bit of effect. And I'm going to change the blend mode to color. Let's see, color or overlay. Let's do color. Overlay doesn't look that great. And reduce the opacity again. I'm going to take it down to, yep, yeah, 23% looks good on that. Right, let's get going on to her lips. Okay, double click and let's call that lips. What you want to do, you want to make sure you have your, so we've done the skin, you want to make sure you have the, the other features of the face on top of that. Okay, control and plus to zoom in, reduce the size of the selection key with the open bracket and select the lips. Just select the background so it knows what it's selecting. Go. Should we give her purple lips and layer mask, selective color, and let's find, let's give her a nice dark purple. There we go. Okay, and now we want to change the blend mode to color. No, please go to overlay for this because we want it nice and dark. Not too dark like that. Doesn't look great. And reduce the opacity. Now I'm going to take it to 21%. Okay, and now for the eyes, let's go and adjust that. Let's just close this down and zoom into the eyes. Let's see what color eyes should we give it. Let's give her green eyes. Okay, so let's select the irises first. Deselect that part. There and that. Okay, so let's go layer mask and solid color and green. What color? Nice darkish green. Okay, and you want to change the blend mode once more to overlay or color. Let's see which one works best not color so let's choose overlay just over there and reduce the opacity once more you don't want it to be too much or else it looks a bit fake there so that looks quite nice there okay and we want to do her the whites of her eyes so whites and let's make you don't need to make a selection once you have the group selected just click new layer and it creates a layer in that group and make sure you have the lay active. You want to go to your brush tool by pressing B. Decrease the size quite a bit. Okay, and you want to have white as your foreground. If you don't have it as your foreground, press D and X. And that will bring it in for you. Okay, I'm going up. You want to decrease your opacity quite a bit. I'm going to, of the brush that is, I'm going to take mine to about 30%. And I'm going to just start brushing in the whites of her eyes. Don't worry, that doesn't look great, but we are going to change it. Okay, keeping on brushing. And up and round. If you lift your pen up, because we have the opacity decreased, if you lift your pen up and start brushing again, I'll just show you now. I've lifted it up and brush, it brushes over like that because you've changed the opacity. Okay, control and zero to zoom out and with this you decrease the opacity of the layer quite a bit just so it's not too white and makes it look fake now i've just realized we haven't done her jumper yet so let's create a new group and call it jumper okay and now we want to go to our selection tool again which we have active and we just want to select the jumper I'm going to select the background layer to create the selection and it selects it quite easily like that then we go back to our jumper group create a layer mask and a layer fill I'm going to make it blue this time let's 
is going to look quite nice and we want to change the layer blending mode to let's try color and let's try overlay i'm probably going to use color yeah let's use color and reduce the opacity down once more that looks about right like that as you can see yeah it's in a hair a little bit um but i would touch it up if this wasn't a tutorial just to sort it out all right so with those done i'm just going to group these layers together selecting the top layer holding down shift and selecting the bottom layer layer and select uh, click Control and g so that groups them so we can see here here's our before and here's our after pretty good i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more tutorials to come thank you very much